What's up everybody, it's your boy Bean here. I'm kind of happy with how my hair looks today. Um, there's sort of a weird tuft on the side, but honestly, I think it sort of balances it out. This is like a very uh, confident angle that's going on here. And so I feel like if it, there wasn't something happening here, it would look weird just having all of this stuff going on here. And it sort of balances it out. Of course, I wish this wasn't here, but I think it might look even weirder if this wasn't here. So I, I think we're good. Um, this morning I woke up at 4.40. Uh, there were some hooligans outside. I, I, uh, I don't, there were just some people being loud, like they're driving past. Um, I think maybe our car was getting stolen again, but uh, later on I was talking to my mom and I was like, our, our Hyundai is still at the dealership getting repaired, right? And she's like, yeah, yeah. And so it couldn't have been that. So it was just some loud people outside. I woke up at 4.40 a.m. this morning um, and my alarm was set to go off at five. And so I was like, well, I might as well just wake up now. Um, and you know, um, that went well. I sat up a little yesterday. I, um, one second. Uh, yeah, so last night I set up a little thing where it moved. My computer for the past three years has been taking a screenshot every five minutes. Um, and so, uh, I'm able to look back at like whatever I was doing at any given time. And so, um, something I do sometimes is I get all the screenshots and I turn them into a time lapse. Um, and it's been about a year since I've done that last. So, um, last, well, yesterday I started moving all the stuff to my computer so that I could do it, and then I did. Um, and um, yeah, that was cool. I just set up the render. I set up the KDN Live project and I set up the render, um, and it was rendering while I was on the treadmill and about halfway into my school work. So about until noon, about. Um, and that was cool. It results in a 54 minute video at 24 frames a second, and each frame is one screenshot. So. You could probably do some math from that, but I, I don't know what. Um, <clears throat> yeah, um, and then, oh yeah, my mom made latkes this morning, so I exercised after I was done with that. I started exercising around 6.12, um, cause I was trying to figure out stuff with like, cause Kaden Live uses Qt6, and I don't have any Qt6 theme configuration on my computer. So I was getting like Qt6 CT, and I was trying to figure stuff out, actually, now that my computer's restarted, let's see. Oh, yeah, it still sucks. Look at Kaden Live, everyone. Like, look, I have these dark buttons and these like light theme <laughs> icons. It's like, there's something obviously very wrong. And if I go to settings, style, and way to dark, wait. Yeah, I mean, nothing, nothing else. Is I can turn off Force Breeze icon theme, and maybe it'll be dark now because I've changed the color theme. Nope. It's still weird. Just so, 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 so strange. And it's only Caden Live that's had this issue. And if I open QT6CT, like, it says to be dark. So, I don't know what the issue is. It's, it's super, super, super weird, and it's... It's honestly really irritating because this uses QT6 and if I open up QT5 CT, like it's, it's this, like this is QT5, this is QT6, this is QT6, why is this all white? It's so strange, I, I genuinely, it, it's, it's an anomaly to me, it's, it's very unusual, um, but you know, what can you do, I guess. Um, anyway, so yeah, when I was done exercising, my mom made some latkes, then I took a shower, um, then for sort of breakfast, I had some leftover spam fried rice because there were leftovers. I needed to eat leftovers so they didn't go bad, um, which, you know, I'm fine with doing. Uh, of course, I would prefer to eat a little less, but, you know, I, I would rather eat more than I have to than have food go bad because that's crazy. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, then I did schoolwork. I did less than I wanted to again. But I think this is just a really big module. I, I don't think it's really an issue on my end because I had my phone off all day. Um, but yeah, um, then a family friend came over and then we had Cachoe Pepe and that was really good. Um, I've been watching some reviews for the Rabbit, um, Rabbit R1, I think. Um, and it's like a cool little AI product. Um, and I think it's really interesting how there's like a big crypto wave, and then there was a big uh, AI wave, uh, and NVIDIA profited heavily off both, right? But anyway, 
uh, I think it's interesting how many products, like how many hardware products are coming out of AI and how many, uh, how little hardware products came out of crypto. Uh, maybe that goes to show that AI is way more popular than crypto, but um, I don't know. I, I just think that's interesting. I think that's an interesting thing. Um, and it sucks how they're just pushing out these bad products to reviewers. I am confident that the Rabbit uh, R1 would have been like a really cool product if they just waited like another year. But I think they're sort of like waiting on that waiting, like W-A-D-I-N-G, sticking with the water metaphor, uh, waiting on the wave, surfing, surfing on the, <laughs> surfing on the wave of um, AI hype. And I feel like they're worried that if they release too late, then maybe like VC funding will like dry out or something. I don't know. I, I, I don't really know how startups work, but um, it's weird how all that AI stuff is doing. Um, it seems like OpenAI is really going to be the, like OpenAI and Microsoft are going to be the big ones that come out on top, I'm sure. But uh, Meta is doing some really cool stuff. I love what they're doing with Llama. It's cool that, you know, right now after this, I could decide to spin up a, a locally hosted like Llama uh, Llama LLM, and that's just incredible. That's cool. Um, uh, but, you know, I, I, I guess we'll see how that turns out. Um, yeah, I hope everybody has a great day, and um, see you, dude.